If, however, you are short a dividend-paying stock, you are not entitled to receive the dividend and must pay it instead to the lender of the borrowed shares. What is going on, guys? Lottery Stocks here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Today, we have a lot of stuff to cover with AMC, XRP, the S&P 500, what just happened with CPI data, and more. But make sure to watch until the end of the video so you don't have to watch another update video here on YouTube. Also, if I sound a little stuffy, it is because I'm getting sick. I told you in yesterday's video, I woke up a little bit sick, and I thank you guys for the positive comments. I want to jump right into the video please hit the like button let's get into it so a lot of people are wondering why is amc allowing you to purchase a one dollar mystery item and then refunding you your dollar people think something big is coming the theory being a cash dividend or something along the lines of an actual dividend because ape was clearly not a dividend now the next thing the rabbit hole right people talk about how there's going to be a dividend and a dividend will destroy short sellers and the reason for that is because if you are borrowing shares on a company that issues a a cash dividend then you don't actually get the payout for that dividend that's number one so a short seller isn't getting the cash dividend and number two must pay it instead to the lender of the borrowed shares so as this isn't a bad thing this is not a good thing and i want to explain this to you guys retail like you and i aren't lending our share therefore short sellers aren't paying our cash dividend now what's happening here let's say citadel is short amc and they're borrowing their shares from blackrock because they're not borrowing them from me what's happening is all they're doing is paying blackrock the cash dividend which i'm sure they can create deals here and there behind the scenes you see ken griffin talking to multiple people this isn't going to be some superior move in my opinion and just based on the fact that they have loopholes everywhere, you can see this loophole happening in broad daylight. Next thing I wanted to cover, short interest of AMC back up to 10.18%. According to Ortax, of course, we know it's much higher. But the reported short interest dropped to nearly 5% previously. They dropped the stock. They let it rip. They rinse and repeat as this drops. They walk the price down and they're walking the short interest reported down. AMC, real quick, trading at $8.03, up 1.65% on the day nothing happening i don't even want to cover the charts it's a waiting game at this point the only thing right now that is happening that we have to pay attention to that will correlate to amc actually having a move is the s p 500 blowing up right a reverse market crash and xrp doing its thing and we're going to get into that just to touch on the numbers 1.2 million shares available to borrow on amc 3,000 calls compared to 32,000 puts expiring in the money and a lot of premium expiring out of the money going to the mark makers, not good. Short exam still extremely high, even though we are low and trading on low volume. They're keeping this thing down bad. Now, you've heard of buy the rumor, sell the news. Fake XRP ETF registration by iShares BlackRock sends token temporarily higher. Last night, there was fake news being spread online everywhere that BlackRock just filed the XRP ETF. And this, as of right now, was a rumor. XRP ended up pumping from $0.65 cents to $0.75 cents in two seconds. Imagine when Judge Torres declares that, in quotes, institutional sales are not securities and BlackRock files an XRP ETF, the price may skyrocket to astronomical highs within minutes the buy the rumor sell the news type of deal is here in my opinion buying the rumor and then selling the news when blackrock actually comes out with this or when the judge says what the judge says that's when you sell the news and i think it's likely to happen now you cannot make this up adam aaron tweets hey dilution right on a point of interest every single time he's he does something on a point of interest plenty of other ceos do it on point of interest it was already planned for the price to drop even after good earnings he drops dilution we didn't need dilution whatever right everything is planned the algorithms already have the price dropping xrp the algorithms already have the price spiking yesterday's video you can quote me on it you literally cannot make this up i said we are entering finally the point of interest on xrp Guess what? Hours later, XRP spiked 10% within two seconds. Algorithms have it ready to go. It's being held back at least as of right now, but we are in the point of interest and AMC follows XRP. Overall, just keep watch on it. GameStop up 9% today, trading at $13.23. Got the third touch point on this trend line and a nasty bounce. Came up, tested resistance right around $13.33. And as of right now, 
fighting that resistance level. I think GameStop just gets rejected here. This is just a sympathy move probably from the S&P 500. And even if it does break over this, if we get smacked and still don't break over 1460, nothing's invalidated. I am still in my puts. I'm getting ready for a catalyst to drop GameStop, at least temporarily. 600,000 shares available to borrow on GameStop. Call to put ratio, 3,000 to 17,000. Expiring in the money, more premium being lost to market makers. Short exempt stack back up above 6,000. Same old shit, just a different day. Now, total derivatives for the top five banks come out to $209 trillion and keep with me here. The total derivatives for other banks come out to 13 trillion. That means the top five banks compared to all of the other banks hold over 190 trillion more in derivatives. Not only that, but hold over 125 trillion more of swaps. Total swaps for the top five banks, 135 trillion compared to other banks, 7 trillion. What are these banks? JP Morgan, Goldman, Citi, Bank of America, and Wells Fargo. Speaking of swaps and how much they own, December 4th is the deadline for swap data repositories. Now, previously, there was proposed changes to comply with CFTC regulations for real-time public reporting and decimation requirements for swap data repositories, derivative clearing organizations, swap execution facilities, etc., etc. This also includes revisions that will change the block trade definition and block swap categories, update the block threshold cap sizes, and address issues mark participants have had in publicly reporting certain types of swap. Now these amended rules are effective December 4th and these are going to affect these major banks. However, the proposed rule changes effective December 4th won't have consequences or enforcements until July 1st of 2024, which is very odd. So basically, Right now, they don't have to follow the new rules. However, as soon as December 3rd hits, they have to start really following these rules. And if they don't, by the time December 4th hits, they're going to say, okay, they're not following the rules. They're not following the rules. And they get six months before, you know, we actually enforce something upon them. Just another way to kick the can down the road. Now, before we get into CPI and what's happening with the S&P 500, get in the Discord, guys. The link is right under the video. It's $2. If you're not in the Discord and you're watching the video, I actually don't know what's going on through your head. If there's at least 6,000, 7,000, 10,000 people watching this video, there should be four, five, six, seven, ten thousand 10,000 joining in the Discord. Also, if you want up to 16 free stocks, there should be 5,000 thousand of you guys doing this as well because there is no reason not to it takes two minutes out of your day sign up for Moomoo Moo using my link and make a deposit of any amount to start earning benefits plus if you're saving an account at your bank earning you 0.01 percent interest a year your uninvested cash in Moomoo Moo will earn you 5.1 percent if you could tell me a reason not to then sure don't do it but if you want the 16 free stocks, he's valued up to two grand per stock and a ton of other benefits. Use my link, sign up for Moomoo and make a deposit. Year over year CPI came in at 3.2% below expectations of 3.3. Month over month came in at 0% below expectations of 0.1 and last month's 0.4. This further strengthens the thesis that the Fed is done raising rates. After today's CPI, the market now expects four rate cuts next year, 25 BPS each. This is insanely good news for the market, and that's exactly how it reacted. Trading at 449.02, up 2% on the day. Absolutely nuts. If I held my calls from way back here when I got out on the second on this gap up, I would have made a fortune on these calls. Instead, I got my puts slaughtered. Was it worth it? No, but it's a learning experience. And as of right now, the spy buy volume is decreasing, and it does look like it would be time for a retracement. In the past, the SPY has looked extremely strong despite, in my opinion, needing a retracement. And that was just the wrong thing to think as it looked strong. But now it looks slightly weak. It's hitting resistance, major resistance at 449. Volume is decreasing as well as the top of the Bollinger Bands would have been around 444, 445. So you're sitting above those Bollinger Band lines or at least testing the very top of them, which usually any ticker that touches that gets smacked to the downside. Overall, watch for a retracement. Maybe there will be a catalyst that brings it down temporarily. I think there's solid support at 440 if it does retrace. However, there are gap fills even further to the downside. Will those play out? Let me know in the comments down below. Couple things to add to close out the video. HYMC will experience a one for 10 reverse stocks, but today after the market closes. And finally, US banks could be grappling with at least $650 billion of unrealized losses in their security portfolios, according to an estimate from Moody. Overall, guys, that is what I got for you for today's video. Join the Discord, get your free stocks, and join the members only on the channel. I'm going to try and start uploading a little bit more on there.
That is it. I love you all. Lottery Socks out.